Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. North, west, east, south, the barrel's there. You go down south into, uh, 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 you go to Mississippi, Alabama, anywhere you go where the blacks and Hispanics are located at, it said all these what? All these curses. Curses, curses, curses. That's what the black and Hispanic man is under, the curses of the heavenly father. But we are here to give you the solution to get out of the curses because the most high God is very righteous. He ain't gonna just leave you here in a, a, a bad state without no solutions. He wants you to get up out of there desperately. But it's up to you, brothers and sisters, to take a hold to what's needed. You understand? Re These things are called curses when you examine the Bible. It's going to tell you how, what happened, why it happened, and what do we got to do again to get back into the kingdom of heaven. Young man, I hope you're listening. What's your name? You, I can look at you and tell you a prophet of God. You understand that? When I see you, I see a young black strong man. And if you got it rightly, you're going to rule this earth again. You understand that? This earth is yours. This earth is yours. It's just waiting to be put into subjection unto you. That's it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So what are we going over now? We going over why are these heathens ruling over the black and Hispanic man? Why are these nations ruling over us? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses, we going back to the forefather Moses. He's telling the children of Israel, which is our ancestors. He said, if you will not listen to the voice, meaning the Bible, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe and to do everything that's written inside of it, read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses. That what? All these curses. Hey, my brother and sister, look around. Where you from, El Salvador? Honduras, when you, you're from Honduras, so you know the state of your people in Honduras. Hey, my sister, look around. I want all y'all to look around. It's saying all these what? All these curses. Everywhere you go in Chicago, west side, south side, east side. You go to New York, north, west, east, south, the barrel's there. You go down south into, uh, 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 you go to Mississippi, Alabama, anywhere you go where the blacks and Hispanics are located at. It said all these what? All these curses. Curses, curses, curses. That's what the black and Hispanic man is under, the curses of the heavenly father. But we are here to give you the solution to get out of the curses because the most high God is very righteous. He ain't going to just leave you here in a, a, a bad state without no solutions. He wants you to get up out of there desperately. But it's up to you, brothers and sisters, to take a hold to what's needed. You understand? Read shall come upon thee all these curses gonna come upon the blacks and hispanics read and overtake thee cursed shall thou be in the city cursed what shall you be when you get into the cities when you go to your inner cities you shall be cursed read and cursed shall thou be in the field and when you were, and we was cursed in the field look at here right here i want y'all to take a look at this somebody give me the um field pictures i want y'all to take a look at this um we, when it said curse that you be in the field, I want y'all to see these visuals. I want y'all to see what God is talking about. Bring that out. Where is it at? Is it over here? All right. Hey, so my sisters, my brother, look, cursed in the field. Go right here. Is that is that history of us? Yeah. Is that our history? Look at this. Look at this. Is that our history? Look it up. Look it up. Cursed in the field. In a field, in a field, in a field. Cursed shall you be in a field. Y'all was cursed in the field as well, picking sugar cane. You know about that? When your ancestors had to enslave in the field, picking sugar cane so forth, right? You understand? So it said, read that part again, Zell. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Verse 17. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. 
This is what? Let's see what he's reading. This is the King James Version, the Holy Bible, brothers and sisters. God is talking specifically to you blacks and Hispanics. And he said, cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be when you get in the fields. Read. That's right. Verse 17. Come on. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Read. Cursed shall be, cursed shall thou shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. So it said, cursed shall be the fruit of your body. That's going into when your seed. You understand, when you bring forth a man's seed, these are your children, right? You got children, sister? You got children, bro? So it said, cursed shall be the fruit of your body. That's talking about your children. You understand? Because it was at one particular time in Florida, in Florida, they had something by the name called a gator bait. Who's familiar with that? Gator bait. Gator bait is when they took that, my, my young little brother right here with the orange shirt, they would take him, he's a toddler. They would take him, put him in a cage, and leave a crack open for the alligators to come in because the baby would be crying. You know, they ain't got nobody, they they, they desert. So what you think a baby gonna do? They gonna whine and cry. You know what I'm saying? So the, the alligator would hit that, and he would come and take the child, snap, take the child, rip him apart, kill him. And what they would do is come bust the gator upside the head and kill a gator and then strip him for the uh, material, which is called, uh, what we call it, gator skin, alligator boots, alligator purses. But they, the point is that, read that again. Curse shall be, curse shall be the fruit of thy body. That's some of the curses that God is talking about. Also, when they come out, they will what? Be into the, uh, a programming system that we call CPS. Chicago Public School System, which is the program they minds to be nothing but servants, or to be nothing but a servant to this guy right here. Y'all familiar with who this? Who they say this is? Y'all familiar with that? Don't act like you do. I know, especially you, my Northern Kingdom brother. This is a it's an actual man by Cesar Borgia. You understand? But God, but what I'm going back to the point is that in the school systems they would do what? Be educated to be a servant to these guys and these people. You understand? So let's also go into curse shall be the fruit of your womb. Read. A curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. So what's the day, sis? What, what about you, my brother? What's the day? It says, and they, uh, Nelson. Read it again. And they shall, the day is the curses. Read. Shall be upon thee for a son. For what? A son. So, it said, the curses shall be on the children of Israel for a sign. What does a sign do? What does a sign do? When you look at a sign, what is it? You looking for what? When you driving, what are you looking for? When you driving, what are you looking for, Nelson? You looking for directions. They call signs. So a sign is to somewhat to tell, to identify something. Like we can look at the sign and say we're on the street of Chicago right now, right? So it said, what? Read that again. And they, and the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? A sign. For a sign. Read. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed forever. Verse 47. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God with joyfulness. So it said the reason why these heathens is ruling over us, because what? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. So we just read in Ezra that God made the world for whose sake? Nelson, you with me? My sister, you with me? Who did God make the earth for? We just read it. Hmm? You all? I need you to stay with me, sister. Stay on. We here to get you on with the Lord. You understand? Nelson, it's read. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. So we're going over the curses because why? We're showing you that all these things is how they are below us over us. Read. And the reason why, why, why are we going through these curses, uh, Nelson? First and foremost. Go back, go back again to the top. Uh, verse 15, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. Do what? To do all his commandments. Do what? All his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So why do the blacks and Hispanics go through these things that we go through, the atrocities that we're going over? Why do we go through them? Read. 
that the Lord thy God, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Nelson, the reason why, the uh, 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 what's your nationality again? Honduras, you're Honduran, right? So the reason why Hondurians go through what they go through is because they broke the commandments of God. The reason why uh, 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 Hondurans look like that is because they are in sin. They have broke the, curse, the curses of the Most High. My son. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 